A special televised meeting of the New York-based Council on Foreign Relations provides a window to the real story. The speaker, Vice President Dick Cheney, takes a question from David Rockefeller. Vice President, um, I just enjoyed so much your whole speech, but I was particularly pleased that you gave such a strong endorsement for the free trade agreement for all the Americas, subject that has been of great concern to me for many years, and particularly recently, and I think it's absolutely essential for the strength of our economy. Rockefeller's role in the drive for an FTAA was a lot more central than he portrays. Rockefeller cultivated Latin American leaders who could be counted on to support such a proposal. Both the 1994 Miami summit and the FTAA proposal were conceived and nurtured by a Rockefeller-created network. Prominent among the organizations sponsoring the Miami event were the Council of the Americas, founder and honorary chairman, David Rockefeller, the Americas Society, chairman, David Rockefeller, the Forum of the Americas, founder, David Rockefeller, the Institute for International Economics, financial backer and board member, David Rockefeller, the Trilateral Commission, founder and honorary chairman, David Rockefeller. Rockefeller's influence also extends to the current administration. He was Chairman Emeritus of the CFR when Vice President Dick Cheney once served as a director, a relationship that Cheney concealed during his congressional career. It's good to be back at the Council on Foreign Relations. As uh, Pete mentioned, I've been a member for a long time and was actually a director for some period of time. I never mentioned that when I was campaigning for re-election back home in Wyoming. 